August 6, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 529 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine has damaged bridges that would allow quick supply into a planned Kremlin military base on the Arabat spit. Since the start of the 2022 offensive by the Kremlin, according to Oryx, Ukraine has destroyed more T-80 tanks than the GRU had in service in January 2022. Oryx also counts that Ukraine has destroyed half of the Russian T-72s, with about half of them being upgraded after 2010. We speculate for a bit, when we include artillery, command, and vehicle losses, these numbers suggest Russia is effectively without serious ground defensive capability, having dedicated most of its resources to Ukraine. If Russia were to be engaged in another land conflict, it would struggle to contain ground attacks and would be forced to rely on air and infantry. A smaller invading army capable of fielding modern infantry, armor, artillery, and able to hold air superiority over the conflict line, could with some decent probability currently defeat Russian traditional combat forces for much of Russian territory in two years or less. An opponent with a larger army and modern peer or excelling technology would be able to shave off almost the entire grounds in about a year in traditional combat. That is as we view it currently. That changes going forward, as the Kremlin has placed Russia on war footing. Dnieper line. Shelling continued, no ground fighting reported by either side. A total of 20 villages were shelled in the last day. Zaporizhia front. At Robotine Ukrainian defenders repelled Kremlin attacks. At the Morkiola Moscow's air force conducted a standoff bomb strike. 14 villages were shelled in the last day. East front, Donetsk. Kremlin troops attacked in Marienka and Avdiivka and were repelled. Ukraine reported that shelling and airstrikes in Avdiivka were unusually heavy. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin has sent fresh recruits from the 51st Guards Airborne to attack west of Krudyumivka. The Kremlin has stacked five brigades and regiments in about 15 kilometers between South Bakhmut and Kurdyumivka. Oskol border front. The Kremlin's attack at Kamazanivka has been mostly repulsed, with Ukraine noting the liberation of Novoyegorivka in the last day. Further north in the fields east of Petropavlivka, Ukraine reports that they are holding their ground against multiple attacks. Northern border. A Ukrainian beaver drone shut down one of Moscow's major airports for a day. Its final location is unknown. Black Sea. As noted, multiple strikes were conducted on bridges connecting the Arabat spit to mainland Hesorn. At least two bridges were damaged by what appeared to be at least three missiles. Damage extent and repair options are unclear as we currently have limited surface images. In the sea proper, the Kremlin currently is floating a fleet capable of firing a salvo of 8 caliber. Ukraine world related. Ukraine and its allies took the time around their meeting in Saudi Arabia to discuss plans for assisting Ukraine and to establish greater lines of communication. Germany is looking at sending Taurus missiles. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.